What's up everybody with Charleston Car Videos. Today we're here at Stokes Volkswagen in North Charleston, South Carolina. And I wanted to show you today the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium. Just last week, they just came in off the trucks. I got to film just your basic model Atlas. But as the mopeds drive by, Today we'll walk up front, right behind me here actually, and take a look at the SEL Premium. It's going to be pretty much fully loaded with a lot of great features on it. So stay tuned as we go ahead and take a look at this Atlas today. Alright everybody, so the vehicle that we have the keys to, again, is the SEL Premium. And here's the key right here. Beautiful vehicle, white in color, really does stand out. Now some of the features just off the key that you have here, well first of all, it is a smart key fob. So. There's no traditional key on here to put in the ignition and do any of that kind of stuff. Now it does have a little section here that you can press on the top and pull a small little key out. But other than that, what you're going to be able to do with the key is unlock or lock the vehicle, open up the power tailgate on the trunk and do the remote start. Now according to Volkswagen and on the key here, it's got the 2X. So basically we'll take this and click it twice. and it doesn't crank up. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and try this again. We'll lock the car first, okay, as we heard the horn, and hit this twice. That's not the way to do it either. So let's try unlock twice. And that doesn't work. All right, let's figure this out together, right? Because this may be something that everyone tries to figure out when they first get their car, right? And you know, like I always tell people, you know, I'm no expert on these vehicles, but what I can do is share the information as I do it myself. So I just locked the vehicle. Let's go ahead and hit this two times. Let's slow it down a little bit. One, two. That doesn't work. Let's unlock the vehicle. One, two. When you lock the car, I do see the mirrors on the side of the vehicle fold in. Let's try this again. One, two, hold it down. Okay, and then unlock, unlock. One, two, and that is not working. So what could be the trick to doing the remote start? Aha! All right, let's try that again, folks. Did you see it just cranked the vehicle up? She's running, let's hit this twice. Shut her down. All right, so let's, the vehicle's locked two times. Okay, you just gotta, you gotta click it really quickly, like boom, boom. So there you have it, that's how you do your remote start. All right, now that we've finally got the vehicle cranked up with the remote start, let's take a look at these headlights. Well, first of all, are they halogens? No. Are they xenons or HID as they say? No. It's 2018, folks. I mean, actually 2017 right now, but it's a 2018 model. And that's right, Volkswagen has attached LED lights right here into your headlight system. So LED, LED, your light strip there on the bottom, LED. And uh, your fog lights are, they are just your traditional halogen bulbs down here. But just so you know, and no one's half the battle, all LED headlights on the new 2018 Atlas. Just want to make sure I got that clear right off the get-go. Now I always think that the wheels on a vehicle are so important. Now a lot of y'all may be safety gurus out there or things like that, but you know I love good styling on a rim. This is pretty cool looking, right? It's a five star that kind of has a flower look to it, if you notice here, and it's a big rim. I mean, it's a 20 inch wheel with a 255 50 series Continental tire. So nice tires, big rims, give it a nice look, and it really fills in that wheel well gap pretty nicely, but still have about three and a half inches here of gap, which hey, you want the vehicle a little higher off the ground. I mean, it's an Atlas, it's an SUV, it's gonna sit a little higher, and uh, yeah, I like the, the plastic side moldings here or whatever you call these, these fender flares. You know, now don't take me too literally, folks. Okay, I know a lot of y'all on YouTube watching this video right now are gonna be very, uh, you know, demanding and, and scrutinize me in the comments section, but I do the best that I can. And hey, if you can do a better video, then go ahead and make one and send me a comment with it. So look at the sides of this vehicle. I mean, look at it. Just take a look at the side of the Atlas. How this line just kind of 
flares and jets up and just does a straight line all the way across the middle here. You know, the Atlas is the widest Volkswagen that I think I've ever seen. I mean, this thing has got some mass to it. It's big, it's wide, and from some of the reviews online that I've watched over the last week or so, they talk about the wideness really helping out from in the driver's seat when driving the vehicle to help so you don't have as many blind spots and you just have a lot more window space while driving the vehicle. And hey, it's going to handle great going around corners and things like that. What do you think so far of the Atlas? What do you think? I need to know in the comments. Let me know. So when you decide to step it up and buy the premium package on the SEL, you're definitely going to get a panoramic glass sunroof. I mean, this bad boy stretches from the front all the way to the rear second row seats. Now we have seen bigger panoramic glass sunroofs on other vehicles, but hey, Volkswagen does a great job. Look how beautiful the Atlas is. This one's also four motion, all wheel drive. Take a look at the rear. I mean, it's got that iconic Volkswagen feel, Volkswagen look, man. Now it does have dual exhaust in the rear. As they say, those pipes down there are actually fake. They're not real pipes, so you're not gonna see any actual exhaust fumes coming out the back of them. But what I can tell you is they sure do look good. There's your actual exhaust pipe right there. As you can see, not connected to that. And that works like that on both sides. All right, let's go ahead and open up the rear hatch with our key here. As you can see, you got your uh, power tailgate feature. Go ahead and click on that. Should open that up very nicely. There we go. And it actually opens up very quickly, as you can see, and very high. Let's move our camera up just so you can see how tall that is. So a really tall man that's 6'5 or something like that is going to do well back here. And I do believe from what the sales guys were telling me, you can actually adjust that on the height if you're a little bit shorter because there's a button at the very top that you can hit to drop it back down. But for some of y'all ladies out there that may just want to leave it just like that, nice and tall so you don't have to worry about hitting your head or anything, if you want to close it, you just hit that again and uh, or hit it. Well, hold on. There we go. Just hit it like that. Just hold the button for a little bit longer and that will drop back down the rear tailgate. Just that simple, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and reopen it one more time. So hold that button, boom, open it back up and let's go ahead and take a look in the back of the Atlas. All right, so let's see what all we got going on in the trunk of the Atlas because it's supposed to be very roomy. Let's go ahead and take the camera, move it right on around here and have a look around. That's right. So uh, there's your mat. You know, I will get to all the goodies you're going to get in the back of the Atlas in just a minute from Volt Stokes Volkswagen and Volkswagen Corporate, what they put inside a vehicle when you buy it. But as you can see, pretty roomy in the back. You got your air vents right there, your cup holders over here. Your back seats do fold down for a 40-60 uh, back seat split. Say it again, 40-60 back seat split. That's right. And then you do have your third row seat that has a 50-50 back seat split and uh, if you want to open it up and have these third row seats sitting up here it's pretty easy Volkswagen's made it very easy for us look at that boom open that up grab this one over here and just pull you know it's not very hard to do I mean a woman weighing you know hundred pounds a lightweight could really just pull that up very simply not too bad at all you want to drop it back down just push that there push it back down now as you can see Pretty good room in the back, and I'm going to get to what the second row seating does to give the third row passengers more room very shortly, which is really cool. But let's go ahead and drop this back down. Look how easy that is, and I want to show you how tough this is. Nice and solid right there. You know, I know uh, Audi back in the day, they, they put steel plating in the back of these seats, and I could only imagine Volkswagen probably doing the same. So very tough there, which the reason I'm telling you that and doing that right now is so you know, if you get rear-ended and you got your kids in the car, it's good to have that heavy, strong, durable plating in the back of those seats, which a lot of car brands don't necessarily do. Now, uh, let's take a look in the back seat. Well, we do have right here a Volkswagen cargo protection system. Now, these are some add-ons that Stokes Volkswagen puts on the addendum on the window there. These are extras that every car we sell come with, okay? And it just sits there and Velcros down. 
But if you don't buy at the Volkswagen store here in Charleston, and uh, you won't maybe get that, right? So you may need to go in the parts department. This is just how the regular carpeting is in the back. Pull this up. You have a Fender stereo system the subwoofer right there, your car jack and all that good stuff. And then a spare tire is right up underneath all of this stuff. So you got that right there for you. Lots of little tie downs, things like that. You even got some tweeters back here for your, for, your, uh, for your highs on your music. 12 volt outlet right there. So looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and show you all the cool little extras you get from Stokes Volkswagen. Now before we just hop in the front seat of the Atlas and look at all the cool gadgets and things like that, let's go ahead and open up the back. I want to show you how these back seats really work and maneuver around so it can make the third row passengers a lot more comfortable while we're riding on a trip. All right, let's open this door up. We got to do some handiwork here, folks. Take a look around. Can you see the back seats? Let me have a look at my camera. Okay, yeah, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the camera right off the tripod system and, uh, and open it up and let you see what all's going on back here. All right, camera's off tripod. Let's get the ball rolling, folks. Well, we'll start out on our door panel here. As you can see, you got this nice little shade here for the kiddos in the back or anybody, really. That's nice kind of, you know, the windows are already tinted, as you can see. See how I'm talking? The windows are already tinted on the back. And uh, just if you're asking, uh, you know, every outlet you get is going to have rear tinted windows already done by the manufacturer. But that's a nice little shade there. You got your tweeter here. This is a component set by Fender that's in your door here. You have a, a six and a half inch mid speaker right down here. And then they put a tweet right there. So that's called a component set for better music sound. I like how Volkswagen has added little cubby hole space, a spot to throw your bottle of water and things like that. And that's great for the kids when they're riding. Now let's go ahead and get in and take a look at these seats. Now one thing I can tell you, this is the real deal, folks. This is leather interior. It's perforated with the holes in it. Let's it breathe and stay cooler. And uh, anyways, I'm going to try to do some of this with just one hand today. But what I was saying earlier is there's actually a rail right under here. And uh, let's see if I can get the camera down there to look at it. It's a little tough to see. Let me try to, there we go. See that rail there? What you can do is you can pull that and bring these seats up more. So uh, let's try to do that real quickly. Ah, there you go. So look at that. You get a ton of um, leg room in the back when you do that, as you can see. So that really benefits the third row passenger to give them more room. You know, these seats right here also can fold down. But look at this. If you need to get into third row, that just moves right on forward when you pull that lever there. And just look at all the space you have to get in the back. You know, it's always been very difficult sometimes on third row seating vehicles that are, are mid-size SUVs and not full sizes like Suburban and Tahoe's. It's always been difficult. It's kind of a squeeze to get back there. But Volkswagen has definitely made that nice and wide. And their engineers have really done a good job developing that uh, the way that is. Okay, so pull it back. Now what you wonder, what does this do here? Well, that's gonna recline the back seat. So if you need to lay it down a little more, you can do that as well. Pretty nice, I'm gonna go ahead and move it back forward. And as you can see, all the way back is even farther back than what we had it earlier originally. So pretty nice there. And uh, you will notice here, this, this side of the seat, it's all one piece. So it's all connected right there. That's why I called it earlier a 40-60 black seat, back seat split. Um, let's go ahead and drop this down, have a look. Man, come on detail guys. Still got the plastics on there. There's your cup holders right there. I've seen in previous models, they usually had a thing you could push here and pull that out. But I think this is a little bit better, especially when you got kids and they're throwing stuff in there and things like that. It's a little more sturdy. Um, you got plenty of supports back here for car seats. So that's nice. And uh, anyways, let's keep on moving around, looking around. There's that panoramic glass sunroof right there for you. And then in the back here, you do have your uh, rear climate control, rear heated seats, uh, air vents in the back, two USB ports down on the bottom, and then you got 115 volt right there on the right hand side. If you're not familiar with what 115 volt is, well, that's so you can plug in, you know, traditional things. Ah, let's see. There you go. Right there. Plug things in, charge them up. I like that feature, you know, so you can charge cameras and all that kind of cool stuff. 
All right, enough of the mumbo jumbo. Let's go ahead and get in the Atlas and see what's going on here. Here's our smart key. Again, you know, if, if the car was locked and you walked up to it with this key, like you all know, you know, it's 2017, 2018, folks. You all know when you walk up, put your key on your hand right there and the car, <laughs> it should unlock, right? Uh, what's going on here today, folks? I'm pretty sure that works. Not sure exactly why it's not working now, but anyways, we'll keep on moving right through. You know, this is how you're watching the video. It's live, folks. So you got your wood trim there, your fender tweeter there, another component set in the front. I bet the stereo is going to sound really good. You got auto up and down features on all your windows, front and back. Heated mirrors. You can tilt the mirrors, all that good stuff. Lots of cubby hole space power for your trunk there and then I'm liking this seat you got memory seats power seats and power lumbar support so pretty good it's a nice looking seat by the way too look at it perforated with the holes in it lets it breathe and say core I like, love saying that <laughs> and uh, yeah good looking seat and I like the side bolsters on it they're nice you know it looks like it will hold you in pretty good going down the road so let's go ahead and hop in because there's some really cool stuff in here I would like to show you Ooh, I can tell you folks, it is hot today. It's literally close to the last day of uh, May. And what you're seeing right now is a digital dash. I mean, that is really neat. You're only gonna get the digital dash on the premium SEL package. And as you can hear, the AC's cutting on. It's already really cold. I mean, today it's over 90 degrees outside. And uh, let's see what it says there. It says it's 82, but it definitely feels a lot hotter um, outside but the interior of a car is always going to be hotter than it is outside and let me tell you it's good to have an AC system that blows cold right off the get-go I can promise you that so once again like a lot of the car brands out there they're wrapping leather up onto the dash now, I'm not particularly sure if that's real leather there or not but it does kind of have that look of leather and that's yeah it's definitely not real leather on the dash but it does get the stitching and all that cool stuff there that makes it look nice with the fit and finish big center mount speaker right up there if you're listening to singing and all that good stuff and probably if you're on the phone your voice is going through there when you're hearing people on the other side so anyways let's go ahead and put our key right down here now again this is Chad's first time sitting in the SEL I'm gonna go ahead and cut these fans down and I want y'all to know that folks while you're watching the video Ooh, it's hot you know a lot of times when I do videos on vehicles I don't sit there and do a ton of reviewing and information I mean I do watch videos and, and learn about the car and stuff like that but the concept that I have when I do a video walk around for you on YouTube is that you're getting to see it the first time like I'm seeing it for the first time so you know to me my review um, is like if you went to the car lot and it was your first time maybe you watched a few videos or read a couple things online about the vehicle and then you went to the store to take it for a test drive that's how I do my reviews I think that's a little bit different I'm not claiming to be a car nut slash guru like some of the other YouTube channels out there I'm just being me and that's just how it is so let's go ahead and keep rolling through so if I don't uh, say something properly you know please forgive me and I will do the best I can I will not give you information though that I and just say something that I don't necessarily know the facts about so anyways I do know that's a digital dash though as you can see which looks really cool I can tell you we got leather wrapped steering wheel here it looks really nice and uh, I'm loving these big vents I'm liking the black on the inside now let's take a look at the digital dash I don't know exactly what all this thing does but it to me it looks like another onboard computer right through here and I can only assume that you can control it through this section here so let's take a look I'm hitting some buttons and you got blind spot monitoring system rear traffic alert front assist you got the back button and basically you'll hit the OK button there to go back again and then let's try to look at a few more features and see what all this does in here navigation so I'm assuming it's gonna you know let the nav go through there it says please insert the data storage device invalid uh, navigation data so you probably got to put that disk that's in the trunk in there but uh, you got all these cool features audio I like how that goes through there telephone vehicle status fuel that's a great feature 
assistance systems navigation and it just kind of goes through so as you can see the top bar up there that's kind of showing you the breakdown of what all you're actually going to be able to look at while you're in here so that's going to be really nice and well worth every penny having this cool digital dash in here with this onboard computer. You still have a button here, and that button is to uh, zero back out the trip odometer and all that kind of stuff. So looking pretty good. Let's take a look over here. Another massive screen inside of a vehicle. Uh, one thing I like about Volkswagens is... It just looks really high definition, looks really good. Um, I like how it doesn't have a bunch of buttons all over the side. You got one big one here, one big one there. And uh, let's go, and, and yeah, you can control it, I'm assuming, through here. No, you don't. So you don't control it through there. You basically control it right off the screen here. So you could hit apps. And then I wonder if this button here will kind of let you skip through things. I'm not sure. But you got your Android Auto, your Apple CarPlay, your Mirror Link, all that. You can hit the car button here. Think blue. So this is going to have a lot of cool stuff in it. Vehicle status. Off-road information. Look at this. I mean, this is really intuitive. And how it's got all this great information here. Energy consum consumers since start that's pretty cool since the vehicle has started right here at the car lot it's going to give you the life of the vehicle that's really neat i would be really interested in seeing something like that you know 10 years later on one of these cars radio media i mean you got all your little apps right in here which is really nice navigation not necessarily going to work right now because they don't have it hooked up i think they should do that in the shop on every vehicle right don't we think phone media now let's just real quickly here go to radio see what we can find and uh, you're definitely going to get the, the satellite and radio in the vehicle but let's go to FM for now I can only play a few seconds of, of audio due to copyright things on YouTube but let's see if we can pay, pick it up a little bit That's sounding really clear, really. I mean, the clarity is great. And again, it's a Fender stereo system. I like the sound of that. Wish I could play more for you. That sounded like a little Ozzy Osbourne going on just then. But um, anyways, 98 Rock. Uh, you do have your heated seats right here and your cooled seats. You'll be able to tell because you got red for heat and blue buttons for cool. And man, I'm already feeling those cool off on my buns. Pretty nice dual climate control, heated steering wheel. And then you write down on the bottom, you got your USB, your auxiliary, and your 12 volt. So a lot of nice little features there. I'm trying to speed things up a little bit. Um, leather boot looks nice. Cup holders look good and deep, like they'll hold things tightly. Electronic park brake, start, stop, engine button. Then you have your modes right here for off-road, snow, things like that. And uh, this looks like it's a camera. Here we go, let's take a look pretty sweet so of course you got your cameras on your mirrors out there in the front and in the back so a lot of cool technology with the camera systems and you can click on that and see the front let's look at the rear pretty cool let's look at the side the other side there's a vehicle sitting right next to us and if you click the center it'll pull up all camera views very nice I like that a lot that's great right up top uh, rear view mirror, nice and smooth as you can see. Rear view mirrors, if you're noticing folks on new cars, they have really kind of taken the size of rear view mirrors and made them a lot smaller so they're not much of a hindrance when you're driving and looking out the windows. Now I always like to look at the lighting. Your light's right up there. Again, I'm going to tell you, I do not know why the car manufacturers aren't putting more of an HD light in here. Because especially for the women, when they're doing makeup, they need better lighting than that right there. That color lighting right there is horrible for doing makeup and things like that for the ladies. So I'm sure if some females are watching this video, they'll definitely understand. Um, no sunglass holder up here. Okay. There's that vent. It slides all the way back. And you can click it and push it in one good time and that will just continue to go all the way back into the rear as you're seeing right there so that's pretty sweet liking it now while we're at it let's go ahead and take a look at the uh the sunroof and see how far that goes back 
I'm assuming it's going to go right back to where that second uh, piece of glass is out there that splits open. And yeah, now will it go back any farther if I hold it? No. Nice looking tray here. This does not, there we go, it's pretty strong and sturdy as you can see there. And that is to help with the wind sound and things like that when you're cruising with the top down. So it's pretty nice. Looking good. A lot of cool features, SOS, all that good stuff. So this is the Atlas, folks. This is big. I pointed this out in a previous video I did with a sales guy we were riding down the road that, you know, you got enough room on here for two full-size guys to sit here and not be rubbing elbows together. And a ton of cargo space in there. You have uh, you have four USBs total in the vehicle. You got one here, one up here, and then two in the rear. So you got a total of four USB ports. All right, so before we go, I like to do the last two things. First, go over the Moroni label on the vehicle, and then pop the hood and take a look at the engine on the Atlas. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Moroni label. It's going to be a little tough to see because we do have tinted windows here, but again, it's a 2018 Atlas V6 SEL Premium with four motion all-wheel drive, white, pure white exterior with a black leather interior, 3.6, 24 valve, dual overhead cam under the hood, again, all-wheel drive. You always want to spend some time here at the window sticker and just read over everything that the vehicle comes equipped with. Look at your fuel economy, 23 highway, 17 city, average combined of 19, gives your annual fuel cost around $1,900. Your green economy, you know, your gas ratings, all that kind of stuff on fuel right in here. And then as you can see here, government five-star safety ratings have not been rated yet. And one thing you always want to pay attention to at a car dealership is right here if they have an addendum on the window. As you can see, see here this vehicle MSRP is 49965 now when the dealership adds on an addendum like all the extras that you saw in the trunk and things like that splash guards you know nitrogen aquapel dealer prep and all that you can see 49 965 when all that stuff gets added on i mean it's a th almost three thousand dollars worth of add-ons at 29.99 that puts you at 52,964 total price which is a pretty large increase from where you saw here but those are some nice things to get on the vehicle if you want them so definitely always make sure of that when you're looking at the vehicle pay attention to those addendums folks let's go ahead and take a look under the hood and you know, the reason I tell you to pay attention to the addendum is you don't want to get inside the store in there, sitting down with the sales guy, and he comes back with the with the pricing information on the vehicle, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought it was 49, this, this, and this. And then you're like, whoa, how to get up to 52? And it just makes them uncomfortable. So try your best to pay attention to what dealers add on to these vehicles at the lot. If you don't know, I just don't want you to look stupid sitting there with a the sales guy and he's like, oh, I thought I told you about that, right? So anyways, that'll just help you out a little bit. So here's the 3.6 liter V6 under the hood. I've been told by a technician in the shop that this is actually a VR6 engine under here. So here you have it. Very clean, pretty quiet for the most part. It's got that little ticking sound that Volkswagens make. There's your battery right over there. Yeah, I like how there's a shock here. Helps out a little bit, especially when you're a camera guy like me and you only have one hand to open up a hood. That's a great feature to have. I like how that's kind of got some rubber on there, which is nice. I remember that last week when filming it. That rubber was really nice. It's not just a piece of metal there that can get extremely hot in the summer. That rubber definitely helps out on that side. everybody i hope you enjoyed watching the video with me today at stokes volkswagen in north charleston we got a nice selection of atlases on ground right now to pick from from the sel premium to the sel to your base model line so if you're looking for an atlas come on down to stokes volkswagen we're the number one volkswagen dealership in the state of south carolina and we got that on the board folks so remember that have a great day thanks for watching the video make sure you subscribe like and comment let me know what you thought about the video and let me know what you thought about the Atlas. What a cool car. We'll see you soon from Charleston Car Videos and Stokes Volkswagen.